Hey guys, it's Larry Greenberg, and today we're taking a look at the Sketch Liso Book case for the iPhone 5. This case comes in three colors, a light brown, a dark brown, and black. It's made from genuine leather, and the price is to be determined. This case is not out officially yet, but it should be out very soon via Amazon, as well as the Unilove marketing website. So let me get it out of the packaging. There is uh, nothing in here other than the case itself, and what this is is, a wallet style case, but kind of a unique one. It has a couple cool features, and here it is. So all leather on the outside, kind of a smooth, uh, silky kind of texture to it. As I flip it open, you'll see that there's microfiber on the inside, and then a cradle-like system for holding your iPhone 5 in place. It's top loading, so you simply line the iPhone up and push it in. It's a very tight fit. I do have a tempered glass screen shield on my phone, which I think contributes to the tightness, but that's a good thing. You know, you don't want it falling out, and it definitely does not um, feel as though it might fall out. So once your phone's in there, you do have access to all of the ports and controls and whatnot. You can see on the bottom, it's totally exposed for the lightning port, the microphone, the speaker, and the headset jack. They even went as far as putting little cutouts for uh, covering the, the area that's covering the speaker and the headset jack. The top is also fully exposed, so your sleep awake button, no problem there. This case has a magnetic clasp. As you can see, I'm not touching the front flap, yet it remains closed. So that's one of the cool features about it. It magnetically adheres itself so that this front flap isn't flopping all around when you're using it. Um, some of the other cases of this type that we've looked at don't have this feature and it ends up looking like this you know, in the resting position. But if I put this down, you can see that the front flap stays closed. As far as accessing the other buttons and whatnot, you do have to flip the case open to get to the volume up and down. It is embossed, you can see with a plus and minus. And then there's a nice cutout for the vibrate switch that you can get to no problem. On the back, there is a cutout for cards, as you can see. This is a minimalistic style wallet case. You can only fit about two cards in here, and it's very sleek. You do have the Sketch logo embossed right there. And then a pill-shaped cutout for the camera, secondary mic, and flash. There is no earpiece cutout on this, which to me is somewhat unfortunate. It means you're going to have to flip this around and hold it in this position to use the phone. You could run into issues with this flap covering that secondary microphone, but you don't have to worry about people seeing your identification when you're holding your phone. Some of the wallet cases that have cutouts here for your cards, when you're talking on the phone, all your stuff is kind of exposed. This way, at least the flap covers that information, although it's somewhat visible when your phone is out in this position. So the Liso book case from Sketch should be out very soon in three different colors, price to be determined. You can check it out via the link I'll put in the video description. Also, please hit that annotation link so you can check out my full review of this case over on runaroundtech.com. As always, if you have any questions about what you saw here today, you know you can drop me a line down below. Otherwise, have a great day.